back again today with another video happy new year in today's video i wanted to just do kind of like a chatty get ready with me it is going to be a voiceover yeah i am going to show you how i achieved today's makeup look which is a soft glam look you guys this is just a perfect everyday look i've been seeing so many soft glam looks everywhere that i'm like i want to do a soft glam so that's exactly what we did and i wanted to actually do something that was going to like be like an all nude vibe if you get me because i actually just got this coat from h&m um which is just like a really pale nude puffer and i knew that i wanted to take pictures with it so i was just like you know what let's do a soft glam look yeah also in today's video i did partner with timmy and i'm also going to be showing you how i use their new superfood moisturizer perfect moisturizer for the winter season especially if you have dry skin like me one thing is the eyes but i'm really here for the skin you guys i'm really here for the skin and you guys are probably not even gonna believe that i'm wearing a tinted moisturizer <laughs> yeah we are yeah we are i also really really love this look especially if you are a makeup artist and you're trying to do like that perfect client makeup like just a makeup look that like every client is gonna come in and you know is gonna look beautiful on them definitely a soft glam the only thing that like i said with certain clients you could switch up is the waterline probably change from a nude waterline to maybe like a black waterline if you wanted to make it a little bit more smoky but nonetheless you guys this look is just perfect there's very minimal crease colors you're not even using a lot and it looks very put together very clean i love it so if you guys want to achieve this beautiful everyday perfect winter soft glam then you already know what to do definitely keep on watching and yeah you guys thank you so much for coming back with me this year comment down something for your girl below i don't care what it is just leave me down a comment definitely hit that subscribe button before you go and yeah let's jump straight into the tutorial all right, beauty, so jumping into voiceover, first things we're gonna do is prime our lips. I'm gonna take my Cobb Lip Oil. This one is in the shade Rum Punch, and girl, I love this to prime my lips. It get, definitely gets them nice and juicy and just ready for makeup. And can we talk about the quality, y'all, with my new camera? You can see all the imperfections, so shout out to Natural Skin, okay? Talking about skin, I am now going to moisturize, and I'm gonna be grabbing my Holy Grail moisturizer at the moment, which is the Teamy Superfood Moisturizer. Girl, if you never tried this, I'm about to put y'all on right now this is literally like my primer and moisturizer all in one so this contains matcha which is amazing as a skin boosting antioxidants and it also has calming properties this also has squalene which is amazing at anti-aging and also helps control shine while leaving your skin nice and hydrated but my favorite is the avocado in it it has a high percentage of vitamin a d and e and that's also going to help nourish and moisturize your skin my favorite thing about this moisturizer is that it definitely gives your skin a nice blurring factor as you can see when you apply it on it is a very thick texture so it does kind of like work into the skin you have to really 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 moisturize this into your skin but it smooths out your skin beautifully it's kind of like if you're wearing a moisturizer and a primer like i said it has a lot of amazing benefits you guys know team me is 100 percent all natural and vegan so you don't have to worry about any type of harsh chemicals of any of sort into your moisturizer it is just amazing and as you guys can see it definitely calmed down a lot of the redness and i feel like my skin is primed and ready for foundation so i do have a 20 percent coupon code if you guys are interested in the superfood moisturizer and i will leave that down in the description box but you guys definitely definitely want to check it out especially if you like for your skin to look very smooth no fine lines and very hydrated girl i'm telling you this moisturizer is it so definitely check out the description box and like i said it is all natural so don't we love that but anyway moving on to the elf oil um um, infused primer spray i'm just going to spray that onto my skin just for an extra um kick of hydration and then now i'm going to go in with the p louise base in the shade rumor 2 you guys already know this is my first step to priming my eyes to give us a nice blank canvas for our eyeshadow look this also does ensure that all of your eyeshadows are coming out true to color and super pigmented i love the p louise bases is honestly like my holy grail base for my eyelids but yeah now moving on to shadow i am going to be taking the ColourPop gone matte palette 
and oh honey i can't get over this quality like i feel like you can live real life grab the palettes but yeah i'm gonna be taking that kind of cool tone more chocolate brown and i am now just gonna give our eyes some shape i am going for more of a rounded eye shape today so i'm just gonna work that right into the depths of the crease and bring that from outer corner all the way on to the inner corner i am now gonna slightly blend out those harsh edges nothing crazy because like i said we're just focusing on getting the color packed on first And now we're going to go in and blend it out. So I'm going to take a more lighter transition shade now. And we're going to scratch right along where that dark brown is. Kind of like bringing it up into the brow bone. That's how you're going to get a nice um, fade. And as you can see, I'm also going in with a more fluffy brush. So I always want to mention the darker the brush, the more smaller the brush, the more lighter the color, the more fluffier the brush. I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, I am going to be making a brushes video. I've been seeing in my comments, a lot of you want a brushes um, breakdown video and I will be more than happy to give you guys that because I noticed that a lot of us do not know how to use our tools and the tools is very important to creating a flawless eyeshadow look so I will definitely be making that video very very soon so yeah shout out to y'all for requesting that now I'm going to be taking a little bit of my bioderma you can use my cellular water any type of makeup removing product that is not containing alcohol um, because alcohol definitely is going to mess up <clears throat> all the eyeshadows underneath so make sure it's more like a water-based makeup remover so i'm just going to take that on a q-tip and now i'm just going to kind of give our lid a negative space kind of where i'm going to cut my lid and now i'm going to go in with another p louise base this one is in the shade blank canvas now i always say the difference between this base and the rumor 2 which is the one that we primed with is that this one is a lot thicker which is going to help you give you a sharper cut crease i get asked a lot can i use concealer yes you can use concealer but just make sure that the formula of your concealer is one of those thick heavy duty concealers you do not want to cut your crease with a hydrating runny uh liquidy ass concealer because then you're not going to get that very crisp line that's why i highly recommend the p louise base in blank canvas because it's just perfect for cutting your crease but of course use what you have if you have concealer just make sure you're using a very thick concealer because that's how you're going to get a very sharp line so yeah now whatever concealer base whatever you use whatever you did to cut your crease you just want to go ahead and set that i did set that with a very skin tone shade in the palette and now i'm just going to create that like nice ombre effect onto my lid and i get a lot of questions on how do i get that effect so my trick is actually taking a fluffy brush i'm not using a small packing brush as you can see i'm actually using a crease brush and i'm going to actually pull the end of my lid ever so slight to be messy with it because you want that shit to look effortless don't don't try to place it in one little spot like try to get messy with it and if you do have to like bring back the neutral shade back onto your lid you can definitely go ahead and do that it's kind of like just erasing you know where you put too much but like i said to get that nice middle blend that ombre look onto the lid definitely definitely try using a fluffy brush so yeah that is everything for the eyeshadow i hope i did break it down pretty easy for that way you guys to follow because i love soft glam looks but now yeah, i am going to move on to lashes i am going to use the tata lashes in the style mercedes this is actually the lashes that i wore in my last video my sephora haul that all of you were like leslie what lashes are those so these are the lashes these have been my go-to's lately and i'm also going to quickly tight line my eyes with the morphe make it big eyeliner this is my holy grail eyeliner at the moment because it's so matte black do you guys see that i had to keep keep the footage of the eyeliner because i really wanted to stress how much i love this eyeliner and you guys i actually got a custom code with morphe my code now on morphe you can shop in store and online is leslie marie y'all so yes i am now an affiliate with morphe and it's just amazing start to my new year when i got the email girl i literally cried because that is literally a dream come true it's one thing to be pr on morphe but to be in a whole affiliate with them girl i am gagging but anyways i wanted to give you guys a close-up of the lashes and now i'm also going to go in with the new morphe glow stunner this is their hydrating skin tint i wanted to see what this was giving okay this also does have spf 30 and i wanted to see if i can like i said give that um soft effect to my skin i didn't really want to go full coverage because i did want to keep this look you know a soft glam but i will say this is definitely like a skin tint like i know like with the elf cc cream that's not like a tinting moisturizer or even with the um there's just a lot of skin tints that have full coverage but i will say that this morphe one it's cute it's cute i don't want to knock it because it is cute it's perfect for every day but being that today i was wearing you know a lot of eyeshadow and you know really dramatic lashes i was like no 
no this is not gonna work for me today so i did actually just combine it with my anastasia um dewy foundation and yeah i was just like yeah I, I need some coverage on my skin today so i will have to try that glow stunner um tinted moisturizer in another video but i just felt like it really wasn't cutting it for today's look but i did want to incorporate it because that was on my skin so moving on to cream bronzer i am going to take the mama mitchell this is his blush in the shade caramel drizzle um i laugh every time i say that because it's not blush it's blush and i don't know it's just like a funny little name but yeah this is one of his um, cream contouring shades. And girl, if you have not tried the Mama Mitchell cream contour, girl, it is like butter. I love it. I'm also going to take my Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer. I feel like in my brain, I just don't need to show it no more, apparently, when I'm filming. Like, girl, what is happening? I don't know why I do not show you guys the product. I think it's because, like I said, I use it so much in my brain. I'm like, they know. They know it's the Jouer. But it, no, Luz, like, we really need to show it. <laughs> So yeah, I am now just going to blend that out, but I do like to go in one more time with my cream contour just to make sure everything is nice and hugged. And now to set my under eye, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder with a little powder puff. I'm trying to actually set my under eye now with something dry, not my wet beauty blender, because I do want to make sure that I do have a nice set under eye. Um, when you do set your under eyes with your beauty blender that was already moist, your powder can tend to you know sink into the skin and not be as full coverage so i just wanted to use a powder puff in today's look and i actually really really loved it soda break okay sexy pepsi i love pepsi um and now i'm just gonna go ahead and bronze the skin i did actually set my entire face with the elf halo glow um powder and now for bronzer i'm gonna be taking my rimmel london stay matte bronzer i love this so much i believe this one is in the shade sunkissed and yeah this has been my go-to bronzer as well i've been loving the way i'm doing my eyebrows lately i've been giving them more of like that feathered laminated look also let me know if you guys do want a eyebrow tutorial i don't know it was mad off topic but anyway back to blush girl this blush though oh my god this is the maven beauty blush in the style craze i've been seeing all the ig baddies wear this blush so i was like you know what bitch let me go into my collection and let me get her because i have her and bitch i cannot stop using her when i tell you this blush is bomb bomb like you do not need to be a fashion nova body okay go on fashion nova go on maven beauty and get you this blush in this in the shade crave it is so beautiful, you guys. I love it and it adds such a warmness to your cheeks. It's so good. Okay, moving on to highlighter. I don't know why, okay, 2022, I'm on some new shit, but I want intense ass highlight again. I don't know, last year I was ending my year with like some matte skin. I was like a little scared of highlight. I don't know what I was doing, but for some reason I woke up this year and i'm like i want to be beaming again from my mile away so that's what we're doing so i took the sub zero palette from mama mitchell and girl y'all already know uk they, they they be glowing from outer space so i already knew this was gonna give what it needed to give and that's exactly what it gave honey because bitch was glowing <laughs> glowing so yeah i did take a mixture of the shades that i showed you guys and i'm trying to fix my brows because you know with all the blending of my eyeshadow they got a little crazy so i had to you know fix them right quick and I'm just going to finish up the eyes with finishing up the shadow on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to take pretty much all of the neutral shades that I run on my crease. And I'm just going to run them on my lower lashes. Now, as you guys can see, I'm connecting where the outer part of my shadow meets to my outer corner of my lash line. I mean, of my lower lash line. Because you do not want it to just stop very weird. You want everything to be all nice and connected. And of course, we have to do an inner corner highlight because this wouldn't be one of my looks. Because... Yeah, I already know, like, in a corner, need to stay the fuck on point, okay? So, yeah, I did just take one of the highlighters from the Mama Mitchell. And I love that my camera blurred out because you guys can actually see how beautiful this inner corner highlight was. Like, bitch, I love it. I had kind of like a little bit of a pink hue. So pretty, so, so pretty. Oh, my God, yes. So, um, now, of course, uh, we just, you know, adding all the finishing touches, a little brow bone highlight, a little bit more blending, you know. When the makeup is coming together, it's very hard to put the brushes down, okay? <laughs> and last but not least is the lips, though. I'm going to be taking the ColourPop. This is BFF3 Lip Liner. And I'm going to use that to, of course, overdraw for the gods because, you know, we love a fucking Bratz doll lip over here. So I'm using that to just line my lips. And now for the center, I am actually going to be taking this is the Beauty Dam Liquid Lipstick in the shade Exposed. I love this. It's such a very warm, peachy nude, but it can look into 
intimidating when you first apply it that's why i like to blend out my liquid lipsticks with a brush yes girl i do have a separate brush literally just for my lips and that's how i be getting my lip combos to just be looking on point like you really need a lip brush girl you really do because before i used to just try to uh, tap it out with my fingers but nah, sis, the brush really allows you to blend right on top of the lip liner and get a really nice, beautiful, balm nude lip. I just love this all nude combo. Like, who want me to send them nudes so I could send y'all this face right here? Period. Okay, because this is all the nudes that you're going to get for 2022. This is all the nudes that you need. <laughs> Then I was contemplating, like, do we need gloss, though? Because I love everything on matte. But I was like, nah, let me hit them one time with the one time with the gloss, though. And this is my e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. Oh, my God. I believe the shade down below is my favorite gloss right now, y'all. Like, I have, like, five of these. This is my shit. And, girl, I'm so happy that I did the gloss. Do y'all see that gloss, though? Do y'all see that gloss? Like, the gloss really did it for me. Yes. The gloss really did it for me but now i'm feeling myself okay so of course i had to grab my you know patrick ta she's thirsty because she's feeling real bougie okay this soft glam look really took it there for me so now i'm like all right but let me let me spritz my face or whatever let me really you know quench my thirst with this shit and now my fan was dead i was like bitch what bitch what so of course we gotta old fashion it get something in arm's reach to you know fan your face set that setting spray and girl, this is pretty much the finished look. Do y'all see that skin? Oh my God, the quality of my camera. Like again, I could cry. I could really cry. But girl, it's the skin for me. It's really the skin for me. Like, I hope y'all did enjoy this tutorial. I'm obsessed with this makeup look, as y'all can tell from how hype I am. But I hope y'all did too. Comment down below if y'all fucked with this makeup look and if y'all enjoyed this video. And I will catch y'all in my next one, babes. Bye.